Yeah, Eliana. Look, this will be the last video I really do make you unless you start talking to me. I, I put some thought to it. If you were speaking to those gentlemen, and I think you were, it shows me that the Eliana that you are now is not the Eliana that I did fall in love with, and I did fall in love with you, and I do want to be with you, but not if you're like this. If you purposely decided to speak to these people instead of me, I've given you opportunity after opportunity after opportunity to speak to me over the years to straighten this out, and you've chosen, you've chosen not to give me a straight answer ever. I had no idea what was going on ever. Okay, you knew I didn't have an idea that was about what was what because I made videos telling you I didn't understand what was going on, and you never allowed me to know the full context. I do think that you did that to spare my feelings, but what, what the reason you, you don't have to worry about me being involved in your life if you're the kind of person that will purposely talk to people that are purposely taking things out of context to make me look badly. Okay, if you're if, if you're thinking that you're playing the victim now after so many years of not giving me a proper context, not letting me know what was going on, not letting me know that you had a child, okay? Not letting me know things. I don't care that you have a child. I love you anyway. I would be with you anyway. And I, even, even in regards with the whole situation with the child, I love you anyway. I always thought you were worth my time. But if you truly are going to participate in people making fun of me, Okay, this is serious stuff. If you're just doing this because you like attention, I don't know what the new Eliana is like. I, knew the, I know the new Eliana is not like the Eliana that I fell in love with because I saw the new Eliana's Facebook profile. Uh, that doesn't matter to me because I do know the real Eliana, the one that I fell in love with, is in there somewhere. But if you really don't want me involved in your life, I'm going to take down all the videos. I took down all my previous videos I made you because I didn't want to be a source of stress in your life. Uh, but apparently you want to actively be a source of stress in my life, or at least that's what you're doing by participating in people making fun of me online. Um, this is not the behavior of Eliana. It's certainly not the behavior of Eliana, you know, the girl I fell in love with. Okay, so if this is what you want to do, if these are the people you choose to speak to, and I'll leave links in the description, the way they speak about you, these are the people you choose to speak to in place of me. That's your choice. It's always been your choice. You chose not to give me proper context. And while I still believe that it was to spare my feelings, look, you should have given me proper context. You can't blame, you can't blame me for not getting things right when you didn't give me the proper context. Okay? You can't do that. I'm never going to be angry at you. I love you too much to be angry at you. And I think it's really messed up that you're, you're helping these people uh, make content that is defamatory toward me. You know who I am. You know what I'm about. And you know I care about you. And the, the fact that you're participating in making defamatory comments, or not comments, but defamatory com content with these people, regarding me, to defame me, is sad. I'm not angry, it's just sad. I, I have to come down to Buenos Aires, okay? I have to. I can't give up the money. I have to go. That's the only thing that I can do. They won't give me a refund. I've tried to get a refund several times. If you don't want to, look, you don't want to see me, you don't want to see me. As I said, you have to contact me. You have to tell me that you want to see me in order for me to see you. If you don't want to see me, you're not going to see me, kiddo. I'm not trying to insert myself into your life. I would like to be a part of your life, and I would like you to be a part of my life. And I think that if I come down, I think you just spending a little bit of time with me would be a cool thing. But not, not if this is the new you, not if the new you is somebody that participates in making defamatory content about me. I don't like that. This is not you. This is not who you are, or at least it wasn't who you were when I fell in love with you. And I did fall in love with you. And you can doubt that all you want. As you know, I love you for who you are. I love you for your intelligence. I love you for how sweet you were.
Apparently, you're not a very sweet person anymore. The reason this got out of con context, or so after I took down the previous videos I made for you, somebody that probably is from Argentina and probably stalks your profile quite a bit, calling himself your giant head, your big head, your this, your that, and then Antonio Sanchez. You know, they're they're threatening me in my inbox. They're they're leaving messages in my uh, my my comment sections of my videos, telling me they will welcome me properly. They'll give me a welcoming. I'll never forget all this stuff. You know what am I? How am I supposed to react to that, kiddo? Am I supposed to just let them say these things and just say nothing? No, I'm gonna say something. But I'm not angry at you. I miss you terribly. I miss you terribly. And you know that I love you and you know that I care about you. But if you're going to help people make defamatory content about me, okay, and if you're going to make it sound like I'm stalking you, I'm not stalking you. I was never giving proper context as to why you stopped talking to me. Nothing was ever clarified with anything. And then when I saw your new Facebook profile, it was a lot to take in. I, I had to take in the new you. It was a lot... To take in, okay, and I, I reacted the wrong way, but I apologized immediately, okay, and I'm sorry, I accept you, you know this, regardless of your political views, regardless of your religious views, regardless of anything, I like you for who you are, I like you for your big brain, I like you for your smart, your, your intelligence, and I like you because you're very sweet to me and you were always very gentle to me, but if you're going to flip the script, and you're going to start helping people make defamatory content about me and taking things way out of context. If this is the new you, I don't want anything to do with you. And I do love you. I Look, they can say the things they say about you. You know that I love you more than because of you. You look good and you look very good. But the reasons I love you, they go far beyond what you look like. I love you, not the outside of you. If something, if you, if you became disfigured somehow, if you were in a car accident or something like that, I would still love you. I love you regardless of the situation with your child. I love you regardless of the fact that you got pregnant and had a child. I love you regardless of everything because I love you. I love who you are. And I wish you would um, consider these things before participating and defaming me with a bunch of fat slobs. And anyway, I really care about you. I do love you. But if this is the way you're going to treat me, look, I'll come down to Buenos Aires. But clearly, if you don't want to see me, you're not going to see me. I don't have to see you. I have to go to Buenos Aires. I can't get my money back. I really love you. And that's it. That's the end of it. This is, this is over now. Okay, kiddo? It's over. I'm going to take down all my videos. I'm going to leave you alone. I don't want to be a source of stress in your life, but if you're going to choose to be a, stress, a source of stress in my life, that's your choice. I'm not going to get angry about it, okay? You have to understand that. I'm not angry. I love you. I'm hurt, okay? I am hurt. I love you. I know I've said some outrageous things, but what am I supposed to do when people say the things they say? Just let them say them? Just let them keep taking shots at me, threatening to kill me, threatening to welcome me properly when I get to Argentina? No, I'm not going to just take that crap. For all I know, I, I don't have context. You've never given me proper context, honey. Okay? And that's it. I love you. If you don't want to see me, you don't have to see me. You're not going to see me if you don't want to see me. I'll go to Buenos Aires. I'll walk around and be bored. Maybe I'll find a couple chicks to bang. You know, that's about it. I don't, you know... What is there to do in Buenos Aires? I'll go to the obelisk. I'll, uh, you know, well, yay. I was going to Buenos Aires to see the woman I loved. And unfortunately, the woman I loved, actually, it was to protect the woman I loved from somebody that I thought was abusing her because she didn't give me proper context as to why she stopped talking to me. Anyway, I do love you. I hope I, I, hope I have a reason to still love you like I used to. I hope that you understand that you never gave me proper context. I love you no matter what, okay? But if you have changed like this and you want to participate in making defamatory content with fat 
useless slobs on the internet regarding me. That's your choice. You could also choose to talk to me like an adult. Okay? I've always given you that choice. You never wanted to talk to me like an adult. But you can talk to these people. You can talk to these people that talk about your, you know, your body the way they do and everything else. I've never done that. You know that. I'm highly respectful of you. I've said some things about me, but I'm highly respectful of you. I love you, and it goes far beyond what you look like. And you know that. I truly love you. And you can doubt that all you want, but you'd be a fool to doubt that at this point. And because I love you, I'm getting that you want me to leave you alone. Well, I'm going to leave you alone. If you don't want me to leave you alone, you're going to have to say something. I'm taking down all my videos about you. Okay, I will be down to Buenos Aires. I'll probably make a video telling you when I come down to Buenos Aires. I'm going to make a video probably when I schedule my flight, just so you know when I'm coming down. Uh, just in case you do change your mind, I really would love to see you. Okay, I would. And that's all that you need to know. It doesn't, I, you, you can't pretend to be afraid of a guy that didn't do anything. I'm, get, I'm the one getting threatened by these idiots. People threatening, do I have sword play with me when I get down there? People threatening to welcome me properly. People threatening this and threatening that. And you're claiming you don't know who they are. Um, maybe you don't know who they are. But the facts are the facts. You're choosing. You, Eliana, are choosing to participate in making defamatory uh, content about me. I've never made defamatory content about you, and I never would, because there's, well, there's nothing to defame, unless you're really going to do this. And I, I still won't make defamatory content about you, because I love you. I love the you you used to be, and I would like to see her when I come down, but if you don't want to see me, you don't have to see me. And that's all for this video, sweetie. This will be the last video I make, you. Bye, honey.